Hello friends, it's been some time and I'm so sorry that I just disappeared off of the face of the earth. Life has just been happening and it just seemed like it uh, definitely knocked me off of my feet for a minute there. I think it's been like two months that I've been very inconsistent, like just have not been making the best choices and I kind of fall into this pattern. Once I keep making unhealthy choices, it just kind of keeps happening and I don't know how to stop. And when I'm talking, I mean eating because if you are new here, my name is Liz and I am literally addicted to food. Um, and it's hard, it's a bad cycle and it's just, it's one that's very hard to break and it almost feels embarrassing to talk about because when you hear about somebody struggling with food, you're like, why is this such a struggle for you? Just don't eat as much. Or why don't you just eat in moderation? Or, you know, just something along the lines of not being understood. And it's hard. And then it just makes me not want to talk about it. And I fall into this like shame spiral and guilt. And there's just so much shame and guilt around food, especially like just that I personally struggle with. And that is something that I'm working at breaking because again, all of my life, I'm 25 years old. And this is something that I struggled with forever. And so to start my journey with Optavia, which I was 100 pounds down, I gained back some of that within the last two months. Um, obviously, everybody's everybody's journey is going to look differently. The number doesn't really matter. So maybe I shouldn't even say it because at the end of the day, that's just one of the ways that I track my progress. Um, and it's just something I don't want to fixate on. But I know that I've gained some weight and you will know where I was at at some point, just not right now. I need a minute to just focus on myself and focus on getting healthy rather than reaching a certain number. Um, so yeah, let me just rewind a little bit because I feel like I'm all over the place. But if you are new here, my name is Liz Nier and I am on a weight loss journey to lose 130 pounds. I, yeah, I started my journey back in 2022, August 8th to be exact. Yeah, my heaviest weight was 283 pounds. It was a lot and I have two little girls and it's just, I don't want to go back. I really don't. I, that was the worst that I felt in my entire life. Just feeling very physically limited, always having inflammation, headaches, um, acid reflux, all these things that just are constantly reminding you of how not good you are. And I want to be there for my kids and I am afraid that I was afraid that at some point the doctors would tell me that I have diabetes or that I have high blood pressure or that I have high cholesterol, whatever, because that all runs in my family. Just something that I could have controlled and some things you just can't control and things just happen, right? But I just, I didn't want to get to a point where I heard those things from my doctor is my point. And I really battled with that because I was 283 pounds and felt the things that I felt because of the things I was eating, how I was treating myself, basically, how I was neglecting myself. Um, and so it just became this really bad cycle that was hard to break. And now here I am, I lost 100 pounds in six months. And after I lost that weight, it was almost like I was in celebration mode. So I was like, oh my goodness, I lost 100 pounds. Who cares? I can do whatever. And then life happened. But obviously that is just such an unhealthy way of looking at it because I should have been learning healthy habits. I should have been learning how to um, manage it and keep it down and whatever so that when I do celebrate, it's more of like a controlled thing. Whereas for me, I'm very much an indulger. So when I have something, I'm not just having a little bit. I'm like, I'm, gobb I'm gobbling it up, okay? It took me many, many, many unhealthy choices to get to where I am right now. I... I'm basically at a place of like, I'm at the end of my rope. I have the answer and I'm just struggling to keep with it. And I want to reach my goal this time. I don't want to play around. I don't want to, I'm just sick of feeling how I used to feel. Um, I started this journey, like I said, feeling lack of energy and just having so many gut issues and headaches, migraines, and now I'm slowly getting those things back because I'm not taking care of myself. So when I say that I'm not taking care of myself, I'm literally telling you that what I would consume is chips in the daily, any sweets, literally any sweets, um, cupcakes, brownies, 
cookies, donuts, you name it, sweets. Let's say beef sticks. What else was I eating? Lasagna. So many things that were just not healthy for me that uh, brought me to where I am now. And it just, it's cr the crazy thing is that when I'm eating food, 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 feelings are literally food. They're just giving you the extra nutrients and vitamins that your body needs to hold you off, to fuel your metabolism, okay? That, that's what a fueling is. And so it's hard. I mean, it's crazy because when I was having regular food, unhealthy food, whatever, I was hungry all the time. And so that constantly put me in a cycle of continuously eating because I'm like, oh, I'm hungry. Or even if I wasn't hungry, I would just always just want to eat. But when I have feelings, I feel absolutely full. And like the point of it being so simple is that I don't have to think about, oh, what, what can I eat right now? What can I go get? You know? So again, if you are new here and you don't know the plan that I follow, I am an Optivious 5-in-1 plan. And basically what that is, is I have five feelings a day and one lean and green. And the lean and green would be five to seven ounces of lean protein and then three servings of non-starchy vegetables and zero to two healthy fats. It all depends on your protein of choice. You know how much fat the protein has and all that. Um, but it's truthfully really simple. And that is why I like it. And it fits my lifestyle because I have two daughters and you don't know, but you know now, I have a dog. I don't have to put in all this thinking into what am I gonna eat to give my body what it needs and to feel the energy and blah, blah, blah. I, it takes that thinking out for me. But for some reason, my mind is like, I can't have that, so I'm gonna eat it because I want it, you know? It's just bad. It's a mess. This whole video is a mess because this part of my life is horrible. I don't like it. I feel unorganized. I feel I'm literally neglecting myself is what I'm essentially doing. And I hate it. I hate it. I feel miserable gross disgusting i'm not confident I, I i i'm missing i'm missing who i was when i was trying to take care of myself it takes effort and it takes me being intentional but i like that version of me because that version of me is actually happy and i know this version of me of being upset or this version like i'm always going to struggle with life life is never going to be perfect but for a while i was letting my circumstances the situation i was going through the feeling that i was feeling sabotage my health journey and obviously that's not taking care of me there's always going to be something in life there's always going to be some excuse to not start now there's always going to be some excuse to not keep going there's always going to be an excuse to stop but you have to realize and i have to realize too that there we are fighting for something so much bigger i am fighting for my freedom you know what's crazy yesterday we went for a bike ride it's the first time i rode a bike in so long first time i rode a bike and i didn't have to think is this going to support me at some point while we were riding i asked my husband if the tire in the back was going flat and I, he's like, no, it's fine. And I'm like, sorry, sorry. That's just my insecurity speaking. That's just my insecurity. I'm so used to always being heavy and always looking out for that type of thing because it's just embarrassing and it's hard and it's yucky. My husband rode his bike, I rode my bike and behind my husband's bike, he had a little trailer with my girls in it. And it was just, it was the best. It was the best. We literally got home and I felt like my love tank was full because I'm like, wow, this is, this is what I want. This is what I want my life to look like this summer. I want I want to be able to make these memories with my kids. They were having such a blast in the back, like while my husband pulled them in this with his bike. Like, but the fact that I was able to keep up, the fact that I was able to do this with them and be a part of that, was was the best thing in the world because that is why I started my journey in the first place. I want to be a part of the memory creating. I want to be a part of I I want to have the energy to take initiative to get things planned. I also want to be involved in the happening of these events and my kids mean the world to me and I want to model a healthy life for them whether that's in how I eat, whether that's in how I have how I spend my time, how I who I choose to spend my time with and just the things that I value I want them to value too and if I'm not valuing myself how are they going to learn to value themselves as well or to even see how worthy they are of love and of receiving love and how capable they are to receive love it's just such a mixture my why goes back to my children as much as it is about me taking care of me it 
always goes back to my kids bottom line they're always going to be number one to me and like other people just i've learned that in this two month period i've just been learning to embrace and to learn more about treating others how i want to be treated and i don't always want to love on other people i don't always want to take care of other people because i i struggle to take care of myself but we are called to do that we are called to love others even though we don't want to sometimes we're called to serve we're called to do the same thing for ourselves you know what i mean it's like i want to take care of myself so that i can best take care of other people as well that's just kind of where my mind mind is at right now because i think of you know y'all know that i'm a coach and you know it makes it very difficult for me to show up for other people when i'm not showing up for myself and so i'm finally at this place of like you know what we just gotta do it we just gotta force ourselves out of our comfort zone especially when we feel like we're struggling with vulnerability or we're struggling with shame and guilt but the the point is it's not good to struggle alone i'm not saying like sometimes it's true sometimes you got to put up a front but there are times that shame and guilt have no place here shame and guilt need to go out the door because that is what is causing us that is what is causing me to continue to choose wrong things because shame and guilt push me to keep it in the dark shame and guilt push me to not tell anybody and to isolate myself and it's like that is how i feel crippled personally and truthfully whether you're a believer or not i i strongly i love jesus so much and i the longer i am on this journey the more i realize that it is such a spiritual battle and you know our body soul mind spirit all of that is so connected so this isn't even a journey about healthy eating anymore this is a journey involving my life my emotional spiritual um physical everything every part of my being and it's that's what makes it so hard because the enemy wants to keep us small the enemy wants to keep us silenced and i will not stay quiet we can't we can't we got to continue to put our story out there we got to continue to hold each other accountable and that is why i became a coach in the first place like i needed the accountability because i know that i can't do it by myself and this me making this video is just me telling myself again and reminding myself that i am capable i am empowered and i am worthy of so much more than what i've been giving myself credit for it's a hard journey but it is one that i am willing to fight again and so this is why i'm making this video because i want i'm trying to encourage myself i want to also bring people along into this journey with me because again i can't do it alone and neither can you so my goal um overall right now i'm gonna keep you all posted because i instead of if you haven't been here in a while i haven't so i'm gonna update you a little bit i was doing videos every wednesday and every sunday at 8 p.m eastern and i decided that i just have too much on my plate right now so i'm gonna instead do every sunday 8 p.m eastern um, i'll try and put it out as early as i can but 8 p.m eastern at the latest and I feel like that's just was doable for the season of my life. Um, but if you are wanting more of like an active version of me, I am on my Instagram more con more consistently. Um, but yeah, I just, I appreciate every single one of you. And I just, I get messages and comments from you that just make, remind me that I got this and that you guys are encouraged by what I'm doing. And it just, I've felt so bad. Again, it's just the shame and the guilt that kept me from coming back. So this is a very vulnerable video for me to make. It's not easy. And I just, I needed to shed some light into my struggle. Um, it's just, you are not alone. And yeah, I just really want to encourage you to keep fighting for yourself. Take control of your health. And whether your health is making your bed in the morning or drinking more water or getting your eight hours of sleep or you name it it's all important reading every day spending your quiet time praying more whatever we need to stay we need to stand together because living life is so hard when you do it alone but being intentional is hard when you like have every day there's so many distractions in the day that makes it hard to be intentional like we just forget 
And so that is what I'm here for. So if you are looking for a coach, don't look at me as a coach, I guess. Think of me as just a friend who's trying to hold you accountable. Um, and you're wanting to do this plan with me, let me know. Let me know down in the comments or message me. My information is all down below. Feel free to reach out in any way with any questions you have because um, yeah, life is, life is gonna be better. Um, but it's better with people, it's better with community. So that is something that I wanna bring you into as well. Um, so yeah, I hope that this video made sense. I hope that um, you were encouraged as well. Um, feel empowered and know that you are you are strong. I will keep you guys posted on what this journey is going to look like for me. But I am super excited to be back. And I hope that you guys um, continue to support me as I figure out what this journey is going to look like ahead. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you next week. Bye.